All right, Shalom, first and foremost, giving all praise, glory, and honor that's due to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachak Wadash, and double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone who do well. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, and Shalom to the men of the Lord. All right, and uh, I'm just going to speak a few words on the uh, on the Karagma, all right, the MOTB, very hot topic. And uh, one, one question for the other guys, other camps, why is it such a hot topic right now? All right, well, <laughs> number one, because the spirit is moving and that that prophecy is very, very close. It's very, very near. And number two, the men of Great Millstone have been breaking it down. All right, that's, that's why it's such a hot topic because now we're getting closer and closer to that time of it being made uh of it of it being evident all right and now you're starting to see guys fumble all right and uh you know apostle the hard did videos on it apostle kabar you know all the apostles really spoke on it and uh various elders as well too and you see you can see these other camps man they're starting to get they're starting to get uh nervous man you can feel it man. all right at, at first, it was it was definitively it, it's it, the MOTB is sin, or or it's a philosophy, or this and this and that. But now, now it can be both. All right, <laughs> you know, now it's saying like, listen, we're not telling you to take it, but it's still sin. Like, no, man. All right, and eventually these things are gonna be uh, it's kind of blurry. Shit on my windshield. Um. Eventually, man, uh, it's just gonna be that one specific thing, man. You know, and we're we're gonna be we're gonna be vindicated. Why? Because we weren't splitting hairs. We're telling you exactly what it is, exactly what it is. It's gonna be something physical. You're gonna you're gonna be forced to take it, all right? Or it's gonna be something that's that's very very compelling that you're gonna sell you on taking it, all right? Now the scriptures say in Habakkuk, man, the vision is set for an appointed time, all right? And though it and though it may tarry, wait for it. And also in that scripture it says, "Make it plain upon tables, so he that run, that run may read it, there, man, or he that read it may run with it, man." All right, that's what we're supposed to be doing, man. You know, I can't get this thing to focus. Salt in my windshield, so lock it. We don't want to make it plain up on tables, man. And, and that came from the elders and the apostles on down. And now all of the men of Great Millstone have gotten the breakdown and we're disseminating it. And what has that yielded? It, it's yielded more and more fruit, and not just in the U.S., all across the world, man. All right? So that blood is off of our hands, man. All right? And, 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 that's, how the, and that's how the scriptures want it, man. All right? We're not supposed to be splitting hairs and using words like, oh, it could be this and it should be that. Scripture says that the, the prophecies are of no private interpretation. All right, so you have to say what it is or what it isn't, man. Because Jake already struggles enough, you know, with faith believing in this thing, man. You can't be giving uh, Jake the breakdown and saying maybe this and maybe that. All right, you got to tell him no. Definitively, this is what it is. That's Isaiah forty-two and nine. It says I, I, uh, I declare these things since from the beginning, man. I declare the end. From the beginning i tell you of these things before they come forth you know roughly paraphrasing all right and that's that's the glory man that's how the most i get this glory not saying uh, oh, I, oh it could be i can't uh it, it might be you know just giving these really vague breakdowns man all right what what's the hour of temptation man you know what is that about that's gonna try all the men on the earth what what is that all right, what's it what's it related to? You know, where where does it line up in the chronology of, of, of the uh, of the end time prophecies, the eschaton? You see, a lot of you guys don't have the breakdowns. All right, and what you do is you go and you you, you take great millstone breakdowns. All right, because because you you have no idea without that. And then you see things that you believe that that uh, that you can tweak. <laughs> you see, that's how it starts. Tweaking. Oh, it could be this, it should be that. Before you know it, you have a different doctrine, man. You see? 
that goes even to those Sakari guys who had the, the breakdown of Revelation 6, but then they had to make up their own thing talking about the, the, the white horses. It's not Yahweh Shai, it, it, it's, uh, it's Esau's white supremacy. Come on, man. All right? And because that, because a lot of you guys just want to be the, the, the guys, you know, you want to be the, the leaders and the elders and the apostles that, that break down all of the truth, man. But but you may not get an extra uh, an extra prophecy, man. All right, you, the Lord is not gonna uh, gonna give you a, a, a divine prophecy that He hasn't given anyone else. You know, more than likely. You know, John the Revelator didn't complain when the Lord gave him the vision of a vision that He already gave Daniel. He had John the Revelator repeat that repeat that prophecy. All right, to recommit it down to memory, what that beast was, all right? He did the same thing with Ezra, the same thing with Jeremiah and Isaiah about the end time destruction. They had to go over and over and over again about the thermonuclear destruction, man, all right? They didn't just get up there and, 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 and say, well, I know Isaiah broke it down this way, but uh, I think when, when I saw that vision, I think, this, I think this is what that means. No, man, all right? The Lord has it repeating for for a reason, man. And we don't care if it's boring, if you're tired of us talking and covering the Mark of the Beast, if you're tired of us covering the Karagma, then, then just go watch a different channel, man. It's, it's, it's not about you. This is an alarm, man. An alarm is not gonna play different sounds uh, like, like it's music. No, it's gonna play the same abrasive, brash sound over and over and over and over again. And it's gonna be loud and abrasive. All right, because it's a fucking alarm, man. That's the point. It's not to make you comfortable. It's to do the opposite. If the scriptures say, uh, "Warn that man from his evil way," all right. So, so, so you, so you give him a, an opportunity to repent from his sins. He said, "We saved our life by doing that." You see. The men of the Lord, our lives are saved by breaking it down to you, man. And all you other guys like the Zariac and, and, and uh, you Watchmen for Israel guys, you know, like Apostle Bahar said it, the Lord going to break all of that up, man. And most of you guys are just going to get destroyed if you don't repent. <coughs> all right? Because that's, that's what a lot of it is. It's like you guys in the spirit, y'all know y'all just being in, in the spirit uh, uh, of rebellion, man. All right? But the scriptures say, man, how, how, how can I let some men teach me? There's nothing wrong with having teachers in this thing, man, with having elders in this thing. All right? And you can look at the uh, the example of the apostles, man. All right? They'll acknowledge, Apostle Tahar will acknowledge that he learned he got all kind of breakdowns from, from Arya, Elder Arya. All right? But, but, but what happened, man? He split off. He, he went off. He's going off now. Still. All right, but but there's still an acknowledgement of who that who who they were taught taught from, man. And you can hear the respect of how they speak about of uh, Elder Arya, man. All right, that doesn't mean that they that that they uh that they just agree with everything, man. But 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 you don't see them forsaking the men that taught them. All right, even when they got extra revelations, you know what I'm saying. And, and, and now you guys think that that what the apostles taught y'all have gotten extra revelations but y'all can't break anything down man all right you're supposed to be able to break down the things that you speak of man because it says in revelation uh the 20th chapter i believe those who add to this book or take away man you're worthy of that of that of that fiery uh second death okay you're worthy of it man so you got to be careful when you start going into these breakdowns especially the ones all right that that are uh the most important all right and and the karagma this is basically the last one that's got to come to pass man when the karagma thing happens man basically it, uh, the rest of it's happening all at once there's there's not going to be any any period of time long periods of time where 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 uh where we're going through uh the jacob's trouble and all of this this and that man no all right that's going to be part of jacob's trouble but it's gonna it's gonna happen rapidly man we're not gonna be here 10 years with, with the Karagma. Hell no, man. Within a matter of a, of a few months, we're probably gonna be out of here once that guy uh, implements that thing. 
all right why because it, it's that that cascade effect is, is going to ripple down throughout all of the, all of the other nations man it's going to piss everybody off revelation 17 all right it says these shall hate the whore <laughs> all right and they shall burn her with fire and that's talking about the the own nations a part of the beast man all right all that's going to happen along with the karagma you see so these things are going to happen very rapidly at around the same time all right that's why the scriptures also write about when they say when they shall say peace and safety sudden destruction is going to come because it's going to look like it's all good like you just signed up for this this, this karagma now you can get the miracles and you can you can walk again you can you can you know you can learn you know kung fu all this bullshit whatever jake is fantasizing about you're gonna, you're gonna think that you're all good and then very rapidly in, in rapid succession all hell's gonna break loose the plagues are gonna hit this place all right and the lord said they're not gonna turn back and they're not gonna be slack all right <laughs> meaning that he, he's gonna pour out the full bottle on y'all man as the scriptures say without mixture all right and the time of repentance is gonna be closed that's gonna be the same time of the uh famine of the word all right and it's gonna be the same time of jacob's trouble man you know so so getting getting the getting the karagma prophecy man it, 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 it's uh it's very 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 important and the lord is starting to separate everybody on that man these camps are starting to get confounded man i'm waiting for the first camp to just come out and say you know what great millstone was right because right now what they're basically doing is, is splitting hairs you know they, they got uh, a phrase in the uh in the betting world called hedging your bets <laughs> all right what you do is when you you got a high odd of one to ten to one but it's a high risk what you can do is you can bet on something else on the opposite of it that's five to one that way if you lose you've covered some of your losses all right but all of you guys are gonna gonna are gonna take a major l man all of you man when it becomes evident a lot of you are gonna lose members Y'all start losing members and they start coming across to, to, to great millstone camps, then that then the jealousy is gonna seep in, then that's when all the slander is gonna start. Alright. Then then watch how you are your own brother and men that, that believed and said they're Israelites. Watch how they sell you out, man. Alright? Watch how they watch how they start testifying on you. Niggas start telling, man. <laughs> you know? But uh yeah, I just wanted to speak on that, man. This 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 karagma thing is very, very important, brothers. You know, and, and prophecy is important, you know, and staying occupied in it, you know. So, uh, but yeah, I just wanted to speak on that, man. Lord willing, this was edifying. Call hello, Yahweh, Bashimi, Yahweh Shai, Hashem, Rachab, Wadash, Wa, Abba, Babal, Shalom.